Hey everyone, Mystic here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm bringing you guys some insane leaks that I just got regarding the Plasma Corp. It has been a while since I've had anything major leaks wise or related to Plasma Corp, so I'm really excited to be bringing you guys these. Also, as a warning, nothing in this video is confirmed to be entering the game. Although some leaks are provided directly from Jins himself, some of the actual content and release dates are completely subject to change or removal. There are some huge leaks in here, so if you do enjoy the video or just want to support it, drop a like down below. Now without further ado, let's get into it. So in today's video, as mentioned before, I'll be covering some of the leaks that I have received either from Jens himself or from other players. Within these leaks, there are a few possible weapons and items, as well as a cornucopia of information through screenshots of messages and chats. I'm going to be starting with the latter because they are more concrete than the files of weapons I received, as the chat messages exclusively come from a developer of Plasma. So, starting off, I'd like to show the leak that in my opinion will have the biggest implications on the trade scene. As per Junes, we'll be seeing a new limited shop coming very soon. This will include two new tradable melees. One of these will cost the usual 999 plasma coins as we saw with the neutron scythes, however the other will cost a whopping 3,999 plasma coins. Now, sadly I don't have any info of what these items are actually going to be, except for Junes briefly saying that the 3,999 one is going to be pretty great. That being said, it is still obvious that this shop will have huge implications on both the plasma and trade scene. The recent inclusion of the 999 plasma coin neutron sites brought upon the first super rare tradable item to come from plasma. Ended up with a price of about 20k, however now we will have an item that costs 4 times that price and undoubtedly will be way more unique and flashy. There is a very great possibility that the item could hit the 100k mark, making waves in the trade scene as well as giving another incentive to grind plasma and reward to those who already do. We can definitely expect this limited plasma shop to actually be coming out within the next week. It has already been a few days since I received these leaks and Jun said it could come in the next week or so. The shop as well as per Jun's will be staying until May 1st. Next up, Jun's also teased a major update coming to Plasma Corp. I had been hearing the workings of a major update, bigger than any of the ones that we've seen before, making its way to release lately, but Jun's here was able to confirm that it will hopefully be ready in February. He also went on to say that the update would include more of all the existing items, such as guns, hats, consumables, etc., but also some new types of items. I tried to wrap my head around what these new types of items could be, however I couldn't think of anything. One suggestion was gun skins, however in this screenshot he did say that those were not coming. Another suggestion was cars, however I don't think these would be super groundbreaking and that doesn't really sound like Jun's to me. I am sure however that Jun's will surprise us all with this update. We haven't had anything major added to the main shop for a while so I'm really excited to see what's going to happen. We also did get word on one potential change to Plasma that will affect everybody who plays it. As many people have found, double and triple coin times seem to be completely random. I personally only played these times and not knowing when they were going to be indefinitely made it less likely for me to play. Jins, however, does seem to have an answer for that issue. He plans to create a timer system for double coins. The idea is that every 14 hours, double coins would go live for one hour, all included with a public timer so people can watch similar to the timer for auctions. He also stated that there could be something implemented where there's a 20% chance for triple coins. This would mean that people could schedule times for grinding coins to make creating plasma gangs much more efficient. He also confirmed that quadra and pentacoins were a possibility for special occasions. So that sums up the purely message-based leaks that I had. Next up we're going to be taking a look at some of the item and weapon files I've received and maybe some of the theories on how good and how much these items could be. Please do keep in mind that these are not all confirmed and could just be concepts, however a lot do fit the look of Plasma and could easily come to the shop at some point. So the first file we're going to be looking at is the one on the screen right now. I did get it confirmed that this was going to be a jetpack. I also obtained a few conversations with Juns where he did say that it was going to include a dash ability as well as the same speed boost that VIP comes with. Another screenshot also says that it will cost 1.5 thousand plasma coins and will be released in December. Now obviously it is January and I did actually receive these specific leaks back in November so it would seem this project was either scrapped or more likely pushed into the ever impending February update. This sounds like a great place to release as well as it could cover the different type of items Juns was hinting at. Either way, I'm really excited for this to actually be coming into the game. Next up, we do have an item called the Plasma Blades. These feature a circular handle with two Plasma Blades sticking out of it. I can actually see a similarity to the Renegade Blade in how the two blades come off the circular handle. This could possibly have the same idle animation where every few seconds the blades spin around the handle. There's also a place on the back icon where the blades would collapse and the circular handle would go on your back. I think these would probably be a strong 9 damage type dagger weapon. I assume that they would also cost quite a bit due to the idle animation, probably ranging around 2-4 to thousand Plasma Coins. I do think, however, that these may not make it into the shop since they are quite similar to the Renegade Blade. 
Now, getting into the final file, it actually includes several weapons. Now, this did make it quite hard to distinguish, however, I believe there are three different weapons here. This includes one gun and two melees. Starting with the gun, at the top we see what looks to be somewhat of a plasma assault rifle. It looks pretty low-key and also seems to come with a backpack. I assume the rifle would collapse and be stored inside of that. There isn't really anything super special here though, and it'll probably range again from 2 to 4k. Next up are the two melees. The first and less flashy is the plasma knife. Obviously, this is the smaller of the two blades, and I'm not really sure what this is actually doing here. I think there is a possibility it comes with the assault rifle or with the second melee. If it does come on its own, however, I can see it being one of the cheapest plasma items, somewhat of a starter plasma weapon. This would mean it would probably cost around 500 plasma coins. Now, the final item in this picture I think will be extremely cool. It seems to be a plasma katana or a larger sword. It has really clean and subtle graphics, which I enjoy immensely. We can also see from the picture on the bottom and on the sides that it can be sheathed, which is a really cool addition. I believe this will 100% be its own item and will probably be 9 or potentially 10 damage. I think if it is 10 damage or if it's 9 damage with some cool effects and abilities, it could cost upwards of 5,000 coins. There's also a small percentage chance that this could be the 3,999 coin item that we see in the limited shop. Anyways guys, that's it for everything I have regarding these plasma leaks. If you guys did enjoy this type of video, please smash the like button and tell me down below in the comments section. I'm always really hesitant to make leak videos as I don't know if you guys will like them or not. Also, comment down below your thoughts on these leaks. Do you guys think they're cool and will you be grinding for any of the items if they come out? I'd love to hear your guys' opinions on this sort of stuff. Also, consider subscribing if you haven't already as I'm your one-stop shop for all the growl news, updates, leaks, and reviews. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.